Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the shop. I'm out here working on the 5.9 again, and I thought I was going to have a huge problem that I didn't even think about, but a little bit of investigation saved me a whole lot of headache and heartache. Um, it just, it scared the shit out of me, because uh, I've, I've never seen or thought about this. So let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. This has everything to do with the clutch setup and the flywheel on the engine. So... Um, this came out of a Ford medium duty truck, uh, an F800 or some shit like that. Uh, it was a Ford rollback wrecker. Um, so I'm going to take the bell housing or flywheel housing off and I, I pull the, the flywheel off and I'm looking at this and I'm going, man, that snout is like enormous. And, uh, I thought it was part of the flywheel. And I get to looking at when I unbolted the flywheel, it's just turned and I pulled the flywheel off and that doesn't move. Uh, I'm looking in here and going, well, that's um, that's not an insert. That's actually part of the crank, right? And uh, I looked a little closer and I see that um, these holes are not threaded all the way out. And uh, the big issue I thought I was going to have with this was that I was not going to be able to bolt my standard transmission to this because this snout would not allow the clutch to actually work um, <laughs> and fit. So I got to look in and uh, I started, well, you know, what's the first thing we do when we think we have a problem? Well, let's try hitting it with a fucking hammer, you know. So you hit it with a hammer and, oh, well, by God, it moves. So I guess... It's actually just like um, a spacer and insert to hold the snout of the torque converter on the Allison that was in it. So, there we go. So, um, <laughs> I really thought that was uh, shooting down my whole project, that I was going to have to change the crank or get a whole different motor, and uh, I was really sweating bullets for a minute until I hit it with a hammer. So... Uh, I just I wanted to show that with you guys so if you do come across an engine for your swap if you're gonna do this swap that you know that came out of a truck with a, a heavy-duty Allison in it um, don't don't be scared don't look at that and say well that's not gonna work with my transmission because I'm using a standard uh, it will so uh, normal Cummins fly or crankshaft right there so uh, yeah I just thought <laughs> I thought that would be helpful save you, you know, the trouble of passing up a possibly good engine because you saw that and you thought it wouldn't work. So, um, I've got everything else done. I've got, I've got the, uh, I just got done setting, uh, the timing set and see, I wrote it on here. So I don't forget. And if somebody else, you know, down the road buys the truck or, or whatever, um, they know what the timing, uh, the injection timing set at. And I did it myself just by locking the uh, flywheel with the floor jack and an engine barring tool. Uh, so, and uh, the engine barring tool is this right here. It's a OTC 7471 Alpha. Uh, I think it was 40 bucks on Amazon. I'll, I'll try and remember to put a link to that in the description so if, if you need one you can go grab it now there are other, are other cheaper ones out there there's some that are around $25 but uh, I've used them before and uh, when I was working in the automotive industry and when I was younger and uh, the teeth break off if you get any real strain on them so uh, you know spend the extra $15 get a quality one uh, yeah that's all good torque my crank bolts down to 80 foot pounds with some red Loctite and uh, the injection pump nut to 122 foot pounds. Made sure none of it moved. I marked everything. So, uh, in fact, I'll show you what I did for that. Now, I made I made this mark. I did not mark the nut, but I marked just the center shaft straight up before I torqued it to make sure, you know, that it wasn't going to move. And uh, I checked it a couple of times. While I was doing it, and then when I finished doing the torque, I went ahead and made the mark all the way up. And uh, then I made a second witness mark. So um, in the future, if I do suspect that it has slipped or moved, I'll be able to look at it and 
between the two marks wherever it's at I should be able to tell uh, anyway uh, so the next thing for me is I'm going to pull that flywheel housing off I'm going to change the rear main seal and I'm going to fix my motor mounts which by the time you see this video I'll already have that done uh, and you'll know what I'm talking about because I screwed it up um, but yeah Lots and lots. Uh, my radiator should be in. My clutch should be in soon. I ordered those already. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for checking in. Uh, if you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. It's really coming along quick here. So, uh, appreciate you watching. We'll see you later.